So I love laying tables, any kind of celebration, Christmas, Easter, spring, July 4th, any excuse and I jump at it to make a table as beautiful as I possibly can. Um, Chaz, my husband, furious with me because I always fill it with flowers and there's never any room for food, which is his department. Um, so we often had to have a side table for the food. Um, so I'm going to make, we're going to have lovely spring summer lunch outside. I'm going to make a very kind of sturdy but beautiful arrangement for the table. This is this is just a pudding bowl from Anthropology, and makes a really brilliant vase. So I've got a length of chicken wire, which I've reused, always reuse chicken wire, never throw her away. So take your chicken wire and scrunch it up into a ball and slot her in. Then we have pot tape, and I'm very simply gonna go push it down, just hold it in place, and then give yourself a little kind of overhang. And all this is doing is holding it in place. So you can do that. Okay. So then we have some water. As with any arrangement, if you can, in a dream world, we lay everything out in front of us in families that we have conditioned. So I have got here anemones. My faves, Solomon Seal, some parrot tulips. Here we've got some sweet peas, lilac. These are, I do bang on about these, but these are my absolute favorite color. This is picked in my garden. This is wild currant. And I love the color. I love the shape of the leaf. I love how it lasts forever. Not literally forever, but a really good long time. And it creates really beautiful shapes. It's very structural. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create the shape of the arrangement just out of the foliage, just out of the wild current. So can you see how it's shooting off like that? Use that. When you're doing an arrangement, think about where it's going to be seen from. So I'm going to be sitting at this at table. So you kind of always want to position yourself where it's going to be seen from. So I'm going to need to think about what's going around the neck. And of course, we want to hide this tape as well. And because it's going to be at a table, it's going to be seen from, from 360 degrees. So I'm going to keep turning it as I build this kind of shape. And the joy of chicken wire is if, it, if you don't like where you put something, you can take it out again. So your, our stems, the stems want to be really clean, kind of be really vigilant to kind of chop off any little bit, because it only takes a tiny bit to catch and ruin your whole arrangement. And you see, so she's kind of filling up. I love them just like this. And very often, just when I need some kind of life in the house, I will pick foliage. And very often I just use this current. When anything's out of water, we want to cut the stems again if it's more than kind of a few seconds. So I'm really happy with that shape. When I do any arrangement, I want it to kind of almost look finished with foliage and kind of general, very general rule. I kind of like them to be about 70% foliage if I can. <laughs> So now I'm going to add this beautiful, this is a spring green tulip that I grew. There weren't many of them, but she's coming in. This is um, a Belle Epoque tulip, which is as beautiful for underneath as much as she is of kind of real way. When you're, um, this is quite small and these are quite big. So we always want to keep the numbers odd. So we're gonna have one, three or five, for example. 
too is just kind of a bit matchy. My best. So kind of to weigh up where it's going to go, kind of if you just hold it up against it, that will give you the sense of how it's going to look because you don't want to cut things down too much because you're never going to get that length back. So if in doubt, try it long. And I love that kind of the little bells just hanging off like that. I'm always very led to doing arrangements that are very tonally kind of greens and whites um, and I kind of sometimes find it hard to introduce colour but then when I do I kind of want to completely embrace it and I keep adding more and more different colours. And I'm thinking um, before I started this I'm thinking about what's going with my tablecloth. So I'm using a really pretty a new one by made by Yoke, who they make gorgeous pajamas. But they've just gone into homewares, and they sent me a beautiful. It's kind of it's covered in fox gloves, which are my favourite. My other favourite, sorry, Solomon Seal. I love it how it is now, but I'm going to add in some pinky red to it because I know lots of the fabric on the table is going to be. Now this this lilac that I bang on about this colour just lifts everything and I adore it with the Solomon Seal. And again, don't be scared of the negative space. There's a lot of space and air in here, but I love that. And especially for like a, a relaxed lunch that this is gonna be for. These black tulips, I adore. They're not actually black, they're kind of the darkest, darkest purple heaven. And they, that colour combination, I love. And so now it's ready for her party, her table. Mm -hmm. I love any excuse to get outside. So even when it's not boiling hot, I definitely head straight out on the first given opportunity. I love using ribbons to tie napkins. I just think it looks so much more kind of done, I guess. Um, and this, this is really special, pretty ribbon. This is um, hand dyed. Um, by a lady I found on Etsy, which is a really great place actually for for getting ribbons. Um, and they're silk, that's hand dyed silk. And I don't kind of make them into neat bows, I just kind of have them, and I don't want to cut them because it's so special, so I just kind of have them kind of draped, draped around the table. <laughs> central arrangement I love having a couple of extra bits kind of at different heights so I've very simply just I've held back a couple of the tulips and the sweet peas and I've just put them in these tiny little pumpkin vases which I kind of bring out any any kind of event lunch dinner anything and just kind of added them in and then it gives us kind of different heights and that is done